we can make up, make up, make up, make up. Oh. Uh, honey, come on, let's break up, break up. Realm of Magic series, and as you probably saw from the intro there, we have somebody new in the house. If you guys haven't watched my Road to Fame series, this is Nanami, and she is basically a little bit of a nightmare. She is the steps, no, sister, sister-in-law of one of my other Sims, Summer, uh, who got married to Nanami's brother, and Nanami has been trying to make Summer's life hell ever since, because she does not like being lady number two in uh, Suji, who's Summer's husband's life. She also made Raven Raven's life a little bit hell as well when they were children. And I think Fran Blessem has kind of come up with this plan to bring Nanami here because he's like, well, he's projecting his own sadness. He's like, I'm still feeling sad and really down and I still really miss Phoenix. I'm sure that Raven is the same. So why don't I do something nice? Like why don't I invite over like her childhood friend Nami? I'm sure the girls will all get on so well and it will cheer her up. And I just think it's the right thing to do. So bless him yet again. He's sweet and wholesome, but he's a little bit misguided when it comes to Raven. And especially since these girls have been like sneaking out of school as you guys saw in the intro to head to the magical realm. Now they're like, how are we gonna do it without Nanami noticing? However, I am spotting that she's asleep right now and it's 6am in the morning. So maybe, maybe now is a good opportunity. Quick girls, let's run all the way down here and let's travel to the magical realm before anybody wakes up. I'm sort of on the one hand thinking this is sort of mean. But honestly, Nami is mean. Nami is really mean and she has to come sleep in our bedroom and I'm like she's like all up in our face and Raven is like well We're sneaking away from her before she even gets the opportunity to wake up She's gonna be awake really soon. I kind of feel sad for her because she's gonna wake up and be like, oh, they've all gone Great, but she was a complete brat in her childhood So I kind of feel like this is potentially why she's getting this treatment. So it's Saturday We don't need to worry about school today So the girls are gonna go ahead sneak off before anyone even knows while they're traveling there Let's do our five little pizzerinos of the day These are people that have bought the Clash of Honor peachy merch and tweeted both myself and the Calier Club on Twitter So here is your little peachy shout out first things first from Instagram We've got brown Paris in the peach squad hoodie. We've got beer bear in the peach squad hoodie as well. We've got McClaire Dummy in the Peacherino's t-shirt. We've got Clarex Kelsey also in the Peacherino's t-shirt. And then finally, we've got Swedish and Midbile Zero in the Peach Squad hoodie. Thank you guys so, so much for the support on the channel. I hope you have been enjoying uh, the videos. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So you guys are here real early in the morning, can I just say. Another little change I've made is I have changed the character for the um, mystery sage. I kind of want to change all the sages over time because honestly, not really feeling them. And I didn't know how to replace them when I first got the uh, got the game. But now the cheat codes are out, I do know how to replace them. That may be something that I start trying to do over time as well. But for now, I've just replaced Mischief. Obviously, our two girly whirlies aren't focusing on that so hard. Phoenix is focusing on Untamed Magic because that kind of deals with a lot of the magic that comes to... Um, has to teach untamed magic. That kind of deals a lot of magic that comes to like bringing people back to life. Life and death, like the really intense stuff. Oh, she needs an apple for that, okay. Uh, the really intense stuff is the untamed magic. I also feel like it's the most dangerous stuff. That's what she is currently focusing on. Whereas Raven, Raven's kind of like coming from this angle of, my mom's a chef, my dad's, uh, my dad's a farmer. I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm sort of getting into this whole potions thing. And apparently we need to check. This, okay, this has got to be a glitch in my game because these guys are oh, friends yeah. and then every time they, he teaches her untamed Sorry. magic, it kind of like takes away all their friendship. I don't really yeah, understand no. why that happens. No. So every time she meets him, she has to like get to know him again. Oh, he did Which is kind of annoying. I don't like having to do that every time. I don't really know why it does it. So kind of annoying. Hey, at least Raven can keep focusing on, uh, sorry, at least Nita can keep focusing on this potion stuff. But I kind of like, I wish there was a specific potion 
potions master. Instead, you can just learn potions from any of the sages. So we'll keep an eye out for some of the other sages too. So actually, I've just spotted another one of the sages here. I hate the appearance of the sage so much. She didn't even look like that in the trailer. Wait a minute, you're not meant to be the sage of mischief magic. I changed that. Why has it changed back again? But fine, whatever. This was another one of the little witches that came with the park. I've given her some CC and stuff. I think she's looking really cute now. And she was the one that had previously been helping Nisa with the potions. I'm kind of vibing that I want to make this girl a sage instead. I'm going to show you guys how you can change sages. This site here on Sims Online is what I have been using. So I already changed uh, Mischief. I don't know why that's come back. I think I'm going to make this one um, the practical sage. This girl here is Grace. I think I need to temporarily add her to the family for just a hot sec. And then if you go testing cheats uh, true or on that will allow cheats and then there we go added that cheat and now she should be the one for practical magic I don't know why this lady has come back to be mischief magic because I've changed that one so I'll keep an eye out for the one that we've changed it to I'm now reading that changing the sages only works till the next loading screen so I might need a more long term solution for that but I basically want to change the sages because they're not like I just don't like them okay I just don't like the sages very much but I'm gonna get Nita to call her like a little friendo sage over because I feel like while Raven's got into this for like really clear goals and means to do with Phoenix, Nita's kind of more just here for the crack, you know? She's just here for a good laugh to make some friends and be like, it's kind of almost like an after school club for her. There's, not, there's no like super strong focus right now. She's just having fun. The potion of good fortune. Oh, I love the alchemy stuff. She's doing such a good job. So this one will find helpful items while doing everyday activities. And she, oh, she needs turquoise and valerian root. Okay, this is so cool. I really want to get like a cauldron in the house so she can like learn stuff at home. But then like Nami's gonna see it all if they start Nami Nita. Oh my gosh, two more names for me to get confused. Nami will like see everything. I don't know. But I like that Nita has this like mental. And this, I like this girl's like design much more. I think she's really cool. What's she called? Grace. I think she's called Grace. I like her. She's a little bit older than us, but I sort of feel like Nita's a little bit of like an old soul and she probably gets on quite well with like older people. So I like that she's like making a little friendo out here and i think what? raven we've chatted to this guy for a while morgan new as i like to call him i feel like it's time for him to now ask for a little bit of magical training surely now surely now we're good enough friends with him you know and while you're getting your training i'm gonna get nita to head over to caster's ali some of you guys were wondering why um raven has a broom but nita doesn't in my head nita's scared of heights i sort of feel like nita wouldn't really be a huge fan of going on a broom she prefer to stay on foot because I just feel like she's kind of like, I don't like heights. I don't like them. I don't like the idea of falling off a broom into like what is basically nothingness. Like, look, like imagine falling down there. It just freaks me out. And I kind of like the idea that we've got a sim that's pretty scared of heights. I feel like we've potentially had some before that I've mentioned, but I think it would be quite cool if Nita just isn't about the broom life. She's much more about the two feet on the ground life. You know? I mean, it is a much slower way to get around, but hey, it's still a way to get around. Oh, she actually has scouts in an hour too. So we do have to head home a little bit sooner than I would like, but never mind. Let's buy some crystals. Ocean ingredients. We know that Nisa needs those. And then where's my other shop at? Wands, tomes, and familiars. Yes, let's buy all the things while we're here. I just love buying crystals because I like putting them on. Like I've put shelves in the room so we can put things on. And why are you close my, sp no, you're a ghost. You're meant to be there all the time. How can you just close my shop like that? And apparently the ghost of this shop has somewhere more important to be. Oh, he went to go and talk to that ghost. Well, that's just really annoying because I want to open the store. Yay, okay, quick, 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 quick. We've got scouts in 20 minutes, let's head back. I kind of want to keep it in scouts because I feel like that's where she'll go and like check in with Coda. And obviously Coda needs a little bit of checking in at the moment. So I think that's a nice thing. <gasps> a bone wand, okay, I might get her that. <gasps> an orb of raven oh that would be quite cool for raven but it's kind of a bit too too much ravenness i'll get her it though just in case she wants to try it and then we've got some more tomes for us to buy as well okay so let's just buy everything and then she's just about to head to scout so she's gonna say bye to grace and like i feel like grace has given her a lot of attention as a sage sage um, because I feel like she has a natural talent for potions to sell Nita because of her upbringing. She's like quite naturally talented at it, but she just doesn't really recognize that she's got this kind of natural talent yet. She just thinks, oh, I'm just willing stuff around. In a big old like bowl, I'm nothing special, but secretly she actually is super special. So she's heading back to her little scouts meeting. Raven has come through here. I'm guessing that means you've learned a lot that you need to know from this dude. Oh, can he teach us more? Is he still our friend? <gasps> you guys are good friends now. 
Okay, if you're good friends, let's get more training from him while we can. Because, like, the more training we can get, the better. Especially because he's, like, a legit sage, isn't he? He's not one I've just cheated. Like, he's the real deal. And then there's one last cheat on here, which is the bloodline cheat. Now, I've already specified ahead of time that the Villarreals have a natural talent for spellcasting. And I've given Eve and Sammy this ancient bloodline perk because it's already been established in Witches that they have a natural spell casting talent and they have a blood, an ancient bloodline. It's kind of cool that this exists in this, like, that I can add this as a perk. I'm gonna add it to Raven because I feel like she should have the bloodline perk. And look at this, at least one of this Sim's parents had a strong or ancient bloodline. Sims with the ancient bloodline trait gain additional talent points towards each spell casting rank. So she's gonna learn things quicker, which makes sense because she's in a family that's been witchy for a long time. Through the Villarreal perk, of course, Seth and Eve have it also through Holly as well. So it's like, they both have it, but from different places. Those guys have it from two places. And these guys just became good friends, which is cool. And she's actually feeling sad mourning someone that's passed away, which we know is probably Phoenix. She's been distracted right now by being shown, like, this is cool. I like this. I like seeing how they, like, learn magic. Oh, look! Sammy is here! Sammy is here keeping an eye on her. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead. That is not an outfit I made for you, hence why your eyelashes are looking um a little bit crazy there. What am I doing? Here we go. But yeah, we know that Seth has gone ahead and said to Sammy, you need to keep an eye on Raven. I just didn't expect that he would naturally come through here being like, okay. Yep, I can see that she's practicing untamed magic. I'm not gonna bring it up to her right now, but I'm aware she's in the middle of something and I got my eye on her. I'm kind of vibing that you are needing the toilet and you're hungry. So once you finish this little bit of training here, I am gonna get your butt home, okay? Okay, look, it's definitely taken out of her. I feel like learning magic is like, it's a tough thing. It like really does mentally and physically take it out of you. <gasps> oh, and Sammy's just come back down again. Okay, this is kind of good timing because he's just run off home. I know she wants to head home, but I feel like it's a pretty good time. One, to catch up with Sammy, but two, for Sammy to be like, huh. So I see you're messing with untamed magic. This couldn't have anything to do with, oh, what a cool place for a conversation as well. This couldn't have anything to do with uh, Raven Cutter. She's all excited. She's like, look, I know that previously Holly managed to bring her back. I think there might be a way. I think I might be able to use untamed magic to do it. And she is here like, let's propose crazy scheme, which is the whole Phoenix thing. However, I feel like Sammy would be like listening, being like, look, Raven, we, we brought her back before and I lost someone really close to me because of that. I lost, like, look, oh, he's, dead. Dead. He's, back. he's got his hair pink currently uh, followed yeah, yeah. and it's night back. He's like, look, you shouldn't really mess with this stuff. You could end up hurting somebody really close to you, just like I did. Like, if anyone can give her the advice of not to do this, it is Sammy, because he knows better than anyone that danger that could come. And he's like, look, just be careful. This might not go the way you expect it. And I'm just, ask I'm just begging you not to go through with this. Learn magic. I love magic. It's fun. It's exciting. But just don't do that, okay? Just don't do that. However, if you I feel like as a teenager, if someone tells you not to do something, you're like, so do it. Definitely do it, is what you're telling me. And I feel like that is the information that Raven has taken in. Oh, I'm still getting this glitch where it boots me to the menu. No. So Raven has arrived back home. Pretty hungry, pretty tired, and ready to just sort of like de-witch right now and chill. But as we can see in the distance there, somebody has been wondering where on earth they've been all day. It is none other than Nanami. Now with her appearance, I've tried to like design her based on the fact that she sees herself in competition for Sage's attention with Summer. She's kind of done the opposite of what Summer looks like to be like, well, no, I'm way cooler than her. So that is the way that I have designed her. I've, I wanted to give a girl like short hair and shaved sides. So I've gone ahead and done that. And she's dressed very much like almost like a little bit sort of teen rebellion vibes. But also just, as I said, direct opposite of Summer. And she's kind of been like, where have the girls been all day? They just literally dipped before I even woke up on in the morning, like deliberately to try and drop me. Like I know exactly what they're doing. She's been like on the lookout for them. And now she's spotted Raven coming back home. Raven who needs to pee, obviously. So I'm going to get Raven to head home and pee before she pees herself in public because too many of my sims do that just like way too many and as she goes running by too desperate to pee i think it's even oh me oh she did actually just look at anami be like okay hopefully she didn't just see me go through that portal but obviously she is gonna see her go through that portal now i'm kind of wondering if she'd be brave enough to go through it herself or if she'd be like maybe i should go and oh look she can actually literally watch someone go through it right now 
Because that woman just walked and disappeared through it. Did you see that? I don't know. I feel like she'd be kind of like, I don't understand what's going on. But Raven's been keeping stuff from me. So I'm going to go home and find out what's been going on. Also, by the way, when that glitch happens, look what happens to my inventories. Look at all the stuff I bought. It just disappears. It all just disappears. Which is super annoying. I also bought um, a hidden cauldron for the back here. So that Nita can like practice her cauldroning without anybody figuring out like what she's up to. Might as well dig these while I'm here. Just me as well. They're grabbing some lunch together now. I feel like Nanami's gonna be like, well, thanks for ditching me this morning. Your dad like called me all the way over here. Like I was busy trying to like split up Summer and Seiji. I had stuff to do, but now apparently I have to go and live with you guys for a while. And you got, oh, look, can you see that? It's because she's charged from doing magic. She needs to discharge. Oh, she could get cursed if she doesn't actually. So I just gotta be kind of careful with her. She's like, and then you just ditch me straight away. Like, I don't even want to be here. The least you can do is talk to me. Right? Like, I feel like Raven is a good person. So although she doesn't like Nanami, and although Nanami was so mean to her as a kid, she's gonna be like, uh, look, okay, you're totally right. I'm sorry we ditched you. We just like, we have a club we go to and it's like kind of part of school. And like, obviously you're not in the same club. So it's kind of difficult for us. Um. And we're just gonna have to leave you when we go to this club. Oh, look, she got the good manners trait for that. So she got the good manners for at least not being mean to her. Oh, look, and she cleaned up her plate for her as well. But yeah, I still feel like the two of them still not really seeing eye to eye and not really getting on. The thing about Nanami is she's so sweet and nice around adults. The minute the adult goes, the person she wants to torment, she's like instantly turns on her. So around Fran, she's probably so sweet. She's like, oh, Fran, I'm just cleaning up the house for you. Thanks so much for letting me stay. Really appreciate being here. And then as soon as Fran walks away, she's like, let the torture begin. I just realized I haven't got them a sink. <laughs> Let me get you guys a sink. Yeah, this kind of scuppers their plans now because they're like, it's a Saturday evening. They wanted to go and like hang out, like maybe watch some magical jewels, like get up to some fun. And instead, they can't really sneak off anymore without Nanami noticing, which is not fun. Oh, and Koda has just invited his own sister to prom. No, Coda, I get that you want someone to go with and you feel like a little bit lonely. But I, I feel like if you're already getting bullied, bringing your own sister to the prom is a really good way to make that worse. No, I'm so sorry. I feel awful doing that. But I just don't feel like that's a particularly good idea. And now look, Raven's a bit tense and stressed because she's like, I can't sneak off anymore. Like literally this has just made things so annoying. I should be studying uh, pra untamed magic. I should be doing everything I can to bring Phoenix back. And instead, instead, Nanami is ruining everything. Also, she just walked in on Fran in the bathroom. So poor Nanami, it's not going very well for her, is it? And I'm gonna get like Fran to come out and argue about house rules with Raven. And he's gonna be like, look, Nanami's here. You can't just like ditch her. Like she was by herself all day today. What is the deal with that? I brought her here to try and cheer you up. So why don't you like try and make an effort with her? I know there's like the little place in town. Why don't you guys go and get some like dinner with her? It's gonna kick me out if I'm if I change lots again, which is super annoying, but I'm gonna, Raven is gonna have to be like, okay, fine. Let's go to, what's it called? The bar. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to bring Nanami and Nita, even though I really don't want to hang out with Nami, but fine, whatever. And I don't think Jurassic, <laughs> Dress in any witch gear is kind of giving the gig up just a little bit. Why don't we just dress in something a little bit more low key so that Rafe, Nami doesn't catch on? So Nami and Nisa don't really know each other. So it's a nice chance for these guys to get to know each other. Raven immediately dips again. To be fair, Nami was really mean to her as a kid. So she has some pretty like bad, like bad memories and just bad thoughts in general about Nami. But Nisa's kind of coming up from a different point of view. She doesn't really know her. So she's just like trying to get to know her a little bit, having a chit chat not knowing like any of the bad stuff okay so i've got raven ordering some hummus and pita honestly yeah. to say how you much nami and raven saw hate Harvey each other i don't know i feel like nita's fun. kind of like i feel like she's such a chill so sim nice. Like, she's the kind of person that can just get along with anyone. So these two actually seem to be getting along a lot better. Although, what's Nami doing? I'm like, is she coming over to talk to someone? No, she's coming over to order some food as well. And apparently it's singles night in the bar tonight, which means that any flirty sims can buy each other drinks on the cheap. Okay, interessant. None of my sims are currently feeling flirty. In fact, Raven's feeling sick. I don't know if she's feeling sick from proximity to Nami. Probably, let's face it. Oh, and look, this is one of your guys sims from discord is it june i think 
Okay. So, Aaron, who is floating around in the background too. So, thank you for letting me add them to the game. Hopefully, some more of... I'm going to keep adding more witches. I don't know the vampires I've added just haven't shown up. I'm not really 100% sure why, but it's kind of annoying. But I've got these guys kind of just uh, chit-chatting. Oh, she's drunk. Bro, Raven's drunk. Awesome. Um, chit-chatting and just sort of... I want Nita to kind of unpick, like, Nami a bit. Because I feel like she's she's the kind of person where, like, when she's so nice, she'd kind of just open up to a little bit. And she just might, like, why? Why? Why are you such a jerk? Just in general, why? But not in as many words. More like, why do you give um, Raven such a hard time? And, like, why do you give Summer such a hard time? Because the thing is about Nami, yeah, she's kind of a jerk. But, okay, this naked girl needs to just, like, put some clothes on or something. <laughs> you can't just come into the bar in your bra and pants just because it's flirty day. Uh, I sort of feel like she's a, she's a jerk for a reason. Like, her brother kind of just, like, upped off and left her for, like, a very long amount of time. Just, like, went to LA to make it as an actor over there and sort of left her. Which, you know, would definitely suck quite massively for her. Especially because she looked up to her brother so much. And she comes from a family that's very famous. And I kind of get the vibe that because her family's so famous and rich, she's always really struggled to connect with people and make friends because they've always just kind of wanted to be friends with her for her money and fame rather than for herself. So as a result, she's kind of like got this very tough external exterior. But yeah, I definitely feel like it's not the kind of thing you can break down in one bar, is it? But maybe, maybe now she's realized she can open up to Nita a little bit more, even if she's not going to see eye to eye with Raven just yet. She can at least see eye to eye with Nita. And since Rave is pretty drunk, you old teenagers, like I didn't actually ask you guys to drink, I just got you pitter. I don't really know quite how you've done that. I am gonna get the butts heading home. But this, like, Nami actually has a smile on her face. From pleasant conversation, and from actually having a deep connection. So, you know, maybe maybe there is a little bit of a nicer side to this very hard interior. It's just, you know, it's it's pretty deep deepness. Yeah, Nami's kind of like, you know those like lint chocolates you get where it's like tough on the outside? But the inside is so good if only you take the time to get into it. Okay, so a few of my sims have the angry drunk trait. Oh, she's happy again now. But she was like angry a minute ago. She kind of has the angry drunkness. <laughs> Oh, but apparently when these guys are drunk, they can get on slightly better. I don't know, potentially, maybe. That, this is like the nicest I think I've ever seen them be with each other. Fran is getting sent for games left, right, center, but he ain't interested. In fact, he'd be sleeping right now. I think she's kind of like in her like drunk intelligence, i.e. lack of. She's like, look, she's totally sneak. Sneak to the magical place. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, she's, wow, wow. Let's sneak there. No one will ever know. Let's just go there now. It's fine. Let's go. I feel like Nita's kind of like, you know, she ain't, all, she ain't drunk. I don't know how, but she's definitely not drunk. It is just Raven. Oh, she's also got this orb that she can give to Raven, hasn't she? But yeah, I feel like she'll, she kind of just goes along with anything for the crack. She's like, ah, it's Saturday night. Like it's 2 a.m. in the morning, it's fine. Let's sneak there. Nami is asleep yet again. But Nita's just like, oh, maybe, maybe she, maybe we should invite her. Maybe it will be okay. And Raven's like, no, that girl is pure evil. Do not give her magic because she's mean. However, I feel like Raven, Raven probably, oh wow, Nami's a hothead, so she also potentially could get real angry. But I feel like Raven's loud, drunk voice is like kind of been, she's like, what, what? This is by the way how she looks without her makeup on. I kind of like that she's, she's, I didn't mean to do this, but to me, she has like androgyny vibes and I like that a lot. So I feel like she's gonna kind of be like, look, they keep sneaking off. They keep sneaking off. And I want to know where it is they go. I want to know what it is they get up to. I'm gonna go follow them. Like while she's coming around this corner, like peeking, and she's like, they're at this place again. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Where are they going? And let's find out. So while Raven's here in her drunk logic, like, oh, hey, hey, let's Fly steal my magical China? jewel Rinova. just for fun. Uh, like yeah, literally, yeah. she's doing it just for knowledge because she wants Don't to. He's back. like, ah. Oh. <laughs> These young whippersnappers, what are they like? She's just doing it for knowledge. It's not like a heated jewel. It's us in here like, yeah, this should be hilarious. So we're gonna watch this. Mommy's out here like angry that she's been left behind, but also like, what? What is this place? This is really weird. She's seen, well, she, I say she's seen, she's on a phone, but she's watching Raven go over here and be like, it's another one of these portal things. Where is she going? I am gonna go and follow her. Okay, so this will be the first time I've ever, ever watched a magical duel. Oh my gosh, I feel like she's struggling for more than magic. Oh wow, she got a shot in. 
And yeah, I feel like the gig is definitely up there. Look at Anami's face being like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's like Harry Potter, you know, when like the magic comes out of both ends of like their wands. Where's your wand, by the way? I definitely gave you one. But yeah, you know where it like meets in the middle? I feel like Raven's actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, okay, yeah, she just definitely did it herself. <laughs> Needs is not impressed. Still, this is the first time I've ever seen one. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I feel like he definitely won. He definitely won. She is still a little bit of a magical noob. And yeah, he is the winner for now. But I bet she learned quite a lot from doing that. She's like, oh my gosh, check out these pictures. I got the jewel. <gasps> oh, and I think she might have just leveled up as well because she's now. She's an acolyte. She has actually gone up one. And oh my gosh, people keep dueling here. That's really cool. Is this like a firework or a shooting star? I think I, I think it's just a shooting star. I'm just following because I'm like, do something. Maybe it's even a witch. But look at this. Oh, she's been sent a magical cow package and everything. But yeah, look at her. Now we're over there like, what the hell? What 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 is even going on? You guys have been like here this whole time. You've been keeping this from me? Why Why is it that you get to do all this stuff and what I just stay at home and be bored? This is not cool. If you guys are gonna be learning to do all magic stuff, I'm gonna be learning to do them too. <laughs> just you need to be like, ah! So yeah, the gig might be up for these two in terms of keeping this secret because I feel like Nanami not only knows everything, but even if they were making progress, now she's madder than ever, so. Good work, girlies. Oh my gosh, I just realized one of the reasons she's miserable is from overheating because she's in her winter clothes. So I'm just gonna put her in a day outfit so she stops overheating in the sun. And she is off to go and speak to. She's like, I wanna figure this stuff out as well. It's not fair that just you guys get to be magic. I see Raven's following her back. But Nita is also following to keep an eye on her. I feel like Nita's kind of like, she doesn't just see the pure hatred side of Nanami. She's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like there's a bit more to this girl and I wanna try and help. Look how small and cute she is in comparison to. But she is gonna go and ask our, my newly created uh, Sage of mischief who's actually one of your sim uh from the clash of on witches sims hashtag called soji so showed you i've tweaked him a little bit she's gonna ask him about magic and he is a sage of uh mischief magic which i feel like is exactly what nanami would want yep so she's got the eyes that are now gonna allow her to see here is a little close-up view of my new sage i just wanted cool trendy sages okay that's all I wanted. And I'm gonna get her to go around and collect the moats too. And you know what kind of magic she's gonna be wanting to do. It's gonna be all the mischief magic because in her eyes, she's already like, oh my gosh. Think of all the things I can do to mess with Summer. I can set her on fire. I can make her, oh, I could make her fall in love with somebody else and split up with Seiji. She's basically thinking of all the cruel things that she, that she could do to ruin that relationship already. Cause that's just the kind of lass she is. And oh my gosh, Raven, please don't pee yourself, hun. But she's here to go ahead and turn in her moats. Which I'm thinking means, yeah, she is about to be made into a witch slash spellcaster as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the end of the days. End of days, this is like Eve all over again. But she's now a spellcaster too. Oh my gosh, I just realized I added the <laughs> I added the other person that was this, the mischief person and they've just been sat in my family this whole time. Okay. Nanami is making kind of friends with uh, Soji now because she's like, this even sounds like Seji, Soji. I might have to change his name because there's just, there's too many similar names. There's way too many similar names. So I'll keep it as an S. I'll keep it as an S and a K. I'll go Sojun Kim, Kim Sojun. Kim Seo There we go. Just so it's a little bit easier because otherwise it's way too confusing. And I think he's like, yeah, this this girl got some messed up intentions. Suddenly uh, you're very sleepy. In fact, I think all of my little babies are feeling pretty... It's 9 a.m. in the morning. It's 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, Rave. Uh, sorry, Nita was so close to becoming a uh, acolyte. I really wanted her to get to it. Oh! But Raven is. Raven's now an acolyte. Okay, she's advancing quickly and she has two more talent points. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, are these the ones she's already had? I definitely already gave her some. Ah, okay, there, she's got two. She just got one, okay. That that glitchy thing is so super annoying and she's got zero. Okay, so Raven was pretty clear about wanting to stop, uh, <laughs> 
stop uh, Nami ever learning anything about magic and anything about this amazing place in Glimmerbrook where they go. However, in her wonderful drunk state, um, literally Villarreal's and alcohol don't really go together very well. She has, in fact, led her right here and also led her to a sage who seems pretty down to be- Oh, no! I removed so many mods. I repaired my game. I did, I removed all my script mods. I updated MCC. I updated the UI extensions. I've done everything and I just keep getting this error. Oh my gosh, this is driving me crazy. If any of you guys have had this and had it cured, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, we now have three little witches in the series. It's basically, is this charmed at this point? It's kind of like, is charmed three or four? I think it might be three. But yeah, we have three witches. We have our potions master, Nita. We have Raven who wants to learn untamed magic to try and bring back Raven. And now we have the worst witch. <laughs> the worst witch Nami who wants to learn mischief magic so that she can mess with Summer. Brilliant! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please let me know how to fix this bug because it's driving me absolutely crazy. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!